as Kim Jong-il has passed away, we get into the amusing stories of all of his exploits. According to North Korean propaganda, uh, Kim Jong-il bowled a 300 in every single game that he bowled. In one instance, he, he shot 11 holes in one in one round of golf. <laughs> this guy sounds like the most interesting man in the world. Now, obviously, that stuff is made up, right? And as, uh, a lot of this is made up. But some of it, on the other hand, is true. So, for example, Kim apparently imported $650,000 worth of Hennessy's finest cognac in a single year. He has a wine cellar with 10,000 different wines. He, ha he has a chef that he got brought in from Tokyo specifically just to do sushi. He brought in an Italian chef just to do pizza. This is while one to two million people starved in North Korea in the 1990s. That is nearly 10% of the population of North Korea. This man is hideous. Uh, he once was on a trip from Russia uh, to North Korea and he would have uh, fresh lobster brought in at every stop. Uh, this guy was one of the most unbelievable people in the world. According to defectors, uh, he uh, th used to throw parties with wild drinking and naked dancers. You think all that stuff is crazy. He literally kidnapped a South Korean director and actress who were married to one another and had them direct movies for him because he loved movies. He loved movies so much he had a collection of apparently about 20,000 Western movies. By the way, if a regular citizen of North Korea watched a Western movie, they could be sent to a concentration camp. Okay, this guy, literally one of the most amazing, unbelievable characters uh, in our lifetimes. And not for the uh, better, for definitely for the much, much worse. Uh, by the way, uh, he used to keep up with world events through the internet. If you uh, were a regular citizen and you went on the internet, concentration camp. Uh, why is his uh, younger son taking over and not his oldest son? Well, it's because his oldest son is just as goofy as he is and apparently uh, made his father really angry when he tried to fake a passport to get into Tokyo. Why? Because he wanted to go to Disney Tokyo. You lose the right to rule over a country because you were so desperate to go to Disney Tokyo? This whole family is a bunch of clowns, man. And uh, unfortunately, they're very dangerous killer clowns. According to legend, Kim Jong-il was born in a mountain that is considered holy by the Koreans under a double rainbow. In reality, he was born in Siberia a year earlier. <laughs> unreal character, unreal. So, now, uh, one of the... One of the particular things about Kim Jong-il is that he loves movies. So he's got a collection of 20,000 movies. And not only that, he's written two books on, uh, in fact, one of them in 1973 was called On the Art of Cinema. Uh, and he also wrote the book Cinema and Directing. Whether he actually wrote it is a different question. But I was intensely amused by uh, some of the quotes in it. And remember, he kidnapped the South Korean director and actress to make him movies all along. And by the way, uh, eight years in, uh, they uh, convinced him that they were on his side and they wanted to help him make movies so he sent them to a European festival where they immediately defected and went back to their home country. Okay, he's such an idiot. Alright, so here is uh, what a director should do according to Kim Jong-il. The director is the commander of the creative group. He should have the overall responsibility for artistic creation, production organization and ideological education. Yeah, that's what movies are for ideological education. Well, you know, the funny thing is, Fox News would probably agree with him. Like, ah, this is just, ah, oh, the happy feet and the Muppets and all this ideological education. Uh, now, also, the director is kind of like a commander, you know, he's got to relate everything to killing. Uh, just as victory in battle depends on leadership ability of the commander, so the fate of the film depends on the director's art of guidance and number of people he murders. He didn't write that, but one wonders. Um, now, he also says the basic duty of the creative group is to make revolutionary films of high ideological and artistic value, which make an effective contribution to arming people fully with the party's monolithic ideology. Once again, kind of missing the point of movies. The, you know, Jimmy Carter brought him Gone with the Wind and, uh, and also uh, Godfather, 
as they were trying to negotiate with Korea to try to make sure that they didn't do a weapons program or start some crazy war, right? I don't think the point of Godfather or Gone with the Wind or any of those movies was to create the party's monolithic ideology. But that's how he interprets movies. Um, now, but he's not all about the party and ideology. He cares about emotion and the movies as well. On emotions, he says, emotions in a film should be defined so that they capture the hearts of the audience from the very first scene. So, I mean, this guy cares about movie making, okay? Uh, and he knows you got to hook him in early. He also says, the director should not merely consider a few well-known actors, but should consider many others. Well, will you look at that? He's very open-minded, and I actually agree with him on that. Don't always just go with Brad Pitt. Sometimes you should kidnap a South Korean actress that uh, people don't know that well. Sometimes, maybe, I don't know, all of our, uh, all of our character actors better watch out. I don't know. Well, he's now passed, so I guess they don't have to worry about it. Okay, um, and then here comes my favorite quote out of the book. It is wrong to regard the assistant director as a person who has failed to become a director or as a trainee director. Under the social system of filmmaking, the assistant director carries out all in matters the duties of a true assistant director. Why does he care about the assistant director so much? My guess is that the South Korean director showed him how to make movies on which he served as the assistant director. So he's like, no, 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 no. That is not a failed director. In a socialist system, the assistant director is the one that totally kicks ass. And bowls 300. Every time. And is born under a double rainbow. God, it's great.